Hey, this is Sander van Dorn and you are watching Trans Class TV.
send a red north tonight. Uh, yeah. He fucking rocked my world. Sorry. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Yeah. He'll look at VTF. VTF for presenting right there. Sign the shirt. There's a good one. Bro. Guys. See you a bit later. We're going to later. Yes. Sander Van Dorn just fucking killed it. Killed it. Nice. Killed it. Sander Van Dorn was freaking amazing. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like seriously. That was some shit, man. You want to say something? Oh, fuck, dude. What is that? What is that? Is that it was so much fun. Hey, is this to catch a predator? How yeah, you like it, man? Say something for trans. Oh! That's Trans fucking us. Transport life. Oh, we really have That's to awesome. say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sander. Yeah. We've been following him for years. He's our nice. favorite DJ. Oh, we got Sander. Like, come over here. You have to. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the shit we're talking about right there. Fantastic. That's fucking real. Fucking it. No, that's my real dude. Sander Van Dorn. Sander Van Dorn. Yeah, we got the Sander. Yeah. Yay. That's the shit, man. Jesus Christ, Sander, you killed it again. Again, as always. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm in Dorn today. I love that. I love Sander Van. Sander was fucking amazing. I know. He just destroyed a place. I know. I, the first time I saw him was at Temptation White in Europe. Hey guys, how's it going? How do you like Sander Van Dorn today? I love Sander Van Dorn. Hey, what's up? This is DJ Mikas for Trans Class TV. Tonight we're with number 12 DJ in the world, Sander Van Dorn. Come straight from Holland. Hi, Sander. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Well, you know, it's good to be back in Canada. So, um, yeah, I've been touring now this weekend. We started off over in Calgary. Uh, went to Edmonton yesterday, and uh, I'm here right now. So it's been uh, brilliant so far. Yeah, it was a big, big, uh, big trip around Canada, really. Yeah, pretty much. First, first question about uh, I want to ask you really. You're doing a radio show really recently, and I want to ask you. You probably received tons of music and everything. Do you, can you tell us a bit about your criteria? How you select the music you play? Yeah, well, you know, it's um, it's a pretty big selection process to be honest. Uh, actually, I got uh, two filters. Um, first of all, um, I got the big pile of promos I listen to, and. Uh, then um, I kind of narrow it down to around 30 tracks and uh, of those 30 tracks I pretty much use 12 tracks maximum for the show. Um, you know, it's a lot of producers out there that produce a lot of great music. So sometimes, you know, it's tough to filter out, you know, what the best tracks are. Exactly. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's a good process. I've been doing this now, well, the radio show for about five years. And well, the whole weekly thing I've been doing now for about a year. So it's, yeah, it's going really well. Talking about music, you're doing uh, like a, you're doing a feature that you're showing people what you're doing in the studio. How that came about? You, yeah. you want to educate people or something? Yeah, like well, that, right? it kind of originated about one and a half years ago. Um, I kind of wanted to make a video about uh, what my studio was all about, you know, to show a few bits and pieces. And while doing that, I, I was kind of started to produce a track and uh, just show a few basics on, on the kick and bass line. And I got so many good responses in that we decided, you know what, we can actually do a whole item about this. Just explaining the basics about producing a logic and, uh, you know, if it helps, it helps, you know. And uh, yeah, got some uh, great responses to that. Talking about that, we all see in your studio and everything in those episodes and everything. You seem to be a big hardware fan. A lot of people that I interview lately, they're, they're, they're kind of swearing about the sub synthesizer right now. What do you think? Is there any substance or are you still really back into a move in Nordly or...? Well, you know, it's, I, I, I do like uh, substance because they're, they're, they're more easy to handle and they're um, a little bit more um, well, predictable. But then again, you know, the whole unpredictable stuff about the hardware since I, I find appealing as well. So what I usually do is make a combination with substance like the Gladiator, um, you know, stuff like the Omnisphere from Spectre Sonic. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of sounds like hardware these days and I, that's why I understand why some DJs would say I only produce on, on software because 
it, the quality is just brilliant these days. Then again, you know, making a bass line on a Moog, it just sounds a little bit better. So, exactly, yeah. a Moog is, is something. Yeah, it's, it's something a Moog, a Moog is yeah. a Moog, really. Exactly. Talking about production, you probably have some fresh stuff that is coming out this spring. Can you give us a bit of a scoop of yeah. what's coming up? Well, you know, it's I've, I've been quite busy in the studio uh, the last couple of months. Um, I just actually finished uh, a new compilation city. Um, actually, the second Dust to Dorn compilation. Uh, yeah, which is my own DJ concept. Uh, we're actually we're going to tour around the world as well with a new concept uh, with a lot of added production. Um, so the compilation uh, compilation CD is kind of you know the product that's going to be released around May June time. Uh, besides that track uh, side, um, I'm doing a lot of productions. I'm actually working towards an artist album, and uh, yeah, I've got around 10 tracks finished, and now I need nice. a few more, and then uh, we're ready to go. L lots of fresh stuff coming yes. from you, really pretty soon. A lot, yeah. yeah. Talking about production, you know, I, I want a little bit. Uh, I get a little bit of a specific question. You've been with Spin and Record for a long time. What's that yeah. relationship going? You're Dutch. They are like a main Dutch label, right? So well, you know, it's um, it's 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 a relationship that actually originated around. Seven, eight years ago, um, you know, Spinning Records is a is a record company that's really open for different ideas. Um, I've got a an A&R manager that became a friend of mine, and uh, you know, he he's, I think he's one of the best A&Rs in the world. He's brilliant. Um, he he knows how to inspire me and uh, feed me with the right music. And you know that whole relationship um, started out brilliant and, and is still brilliant these days. So I kind of started the sub label collaborating with uh, with them called Dorn Records. A lot of uh, tracks uh, already lined up for that uh, releases as well. And yeah, it's going absolutely brilliant. Great, great. I want to ask you a little special question because you're a party person and everything. What is your favorite drink before you go out and do a gig? Like tonight, we got a little bit of booze going on in there. What's your drink, man? What's up? Well, you know, it's my 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 favorite drink actually originates from the fact that you know I travel a lot, yeah. so um, you know. You get jet lagged. Uh, for instance, last month I, I played in the same month I did um, Australia, went back to Amsterdam, then flew straight to Chile, Ooh. and then Chile back to Amsterdam and then Ooh. to Miami. So, you know, you're, you're constantly jet lagged. Yeah. And I do find uh, taking one vodka Red Bull, it just uh, right. eases up. Cheers, man. There you really? go. That's what we're talking about. There you go, just one drink. All okay. good. That's good, that's stuff. Yeah. Really. Talking about touring, you heard tonight in Vancouver, do you have any big festivals you're gonna play this summer? You want to see to people, you will be there, right? Uh, to be honest, uh, this year is gonna be insane. Um, I'm actually doing Queen's Day next week. Um, nice. Yeah, which is um, at Museum Square in Amsterdam. It's uh, celebrating the, the Queen's birthday. Um, that's gonna be, I think, in front of around 150,000 people. So that's gonna be a big one. Uh, the same now I'm playing May Day in Germany, which is the 25th anniversary, I think. Uh, besides this year, uh, there's a lot of festivals, some I can't mention already, you know, it's a little yeah. bit too early, but it's looking really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Willie Sander, thank you very much for being on Translast TV, Willie. Really. Nice You're to welcome. see you guys. Yeah. Sander Van Orm, check out lots of stuff coming from him this summer. Really.
Uh, how do you feel? Hey, what's up? This is Sander Renor. He's totally destroying the place right now. It's absolutely insane. Shy Burrow rugged the place. Amazing, really. Press last in full effect. Coming back to you live. How are the drinks, you guys? I know some people just dropped me some drinks. I know it's raining some alcohol in here. We're out. There's nothing left, man. What's up with that? Like, seriously. No more booze? You're I think I'm going home. home. <laughs> what? You're drinking it home, you guys. Did I? <laughs> Holy man, shit. Man, hold it, man, hold it. Hold it, man. What the? Ah! What the fuck is that? I didn't drink so much, man. What happened? <laughs> The guy totally destroyed the place, number 12 DJ in the world. Amazing set, totally amazing. I can't even tell you in word right now. I can't redo it. I can tell by your face that you're leaving me again. You don't know what you want. Be